All right, guys. Welcome to another episode of Super Beast. Super Bumper's here, and it is repainted, and it is wrapped. And that color is just absolutely wild. So, um, yeah, I am... Uh, I'm gonna make a nice little area here out of the way and I'm going to um, attach the lip to the bumper um, using all the hardware that I have. It's all factory. I have the factory um, piece right there. You can see it. And I'm gonna be very gentle and careful and put it on, but I'm sure you guys don't want to see me tightening up some bolts. But um, once the lip is on and I start put, putting the marker lights and the signal lights back on, I will probably turn the camera back on and show you what's up. So now that this is done, the Super's going to get the final um, polish and then we're going to be paint protecting the front fenders and the, and the hood for now. So I'm going to put some music on. I'm going to get to it and... Uh, I'll show you show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, everyone. The bumper is put back together. Uh, there's a few things I'm not too happy about. And one of the major ones being the paint has come off in this section. So I'm going to put some, uh, some of the touch-up paint around it to seal it in. It looks like it's okay. I did cut off all the... Really bad spots. Um, overall, it's in good shape. There is some bubbling and some weirdness going on with the 3M that uh, I might have to bring to my buddy's attention. And he might just have to cut it more and spread it. Um, but like, look at the color, like the camera is not doing it justice. Like the color is just whack. It's crazy, crazy nice, like pearl jewel green between that and Baltic blue. It's craziness. So yeah, so that's, that's the bumper. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to, uh, Take my Toyota badge and re-3M it. I do have a brand new one, but I don't want to put the brand new one on because this is 3M up here. So whenever I'm going to have to replace it, I don't want to waste, you know, another Toyota badge. So I'll just reuse the one that I have and put it in there. But there she is, guys. Looks great so far. All right, guys. I uh, escaped into my kitchen and used some uh, 3M auto tape and it's uh those are the measurements 0.5 inch by 15 feet so you could do a lot of uh emblems with this stuff but that's what i that's what i did essentially and uh it should work fine and i have little clips to put on here so i'm gonna go put this on the bumper and show you how it turned out hopefully it it goes good also when you're doing stuff like this having a little scalpel is uh, imperative because you can really precisely cut these things and if you miscut it you can fix it while it's on here which i did all right guys that idea of doing the 3m on the back just didn't work the 3m is just too thick for it to look good so i'm going to have to use the last toyota badge i have in stock and uh, probably have to order another one so here here we go all right guys, super bumper is put together and the badge went on pretty good. I, uh, you can see that there's some clips that I was able to get a hold of from the body shop that painted the bumper. And those are kind of imperative for the, for the badge when it goes on to, uh, for it to seat and adhere to the bumper because it has that um, adhesive on the back. So those are kind of important. My last badge didn't have those clips and it actually lifted. So this being brand new paint and brand new 3M, it's like, you know, 
100% good to go. I want to at least have the badge <laughs> on properly. So I'm, you know, trying and striving really hard to make sure everything's perfect. That's why I'm kind of bummed in the video, if you could hear my voice, just from the paint. You know, you spend a lot of money and it's not fun having that. You know, this was like a $1,300 affair to get this painted and all 3M'd. And the paint, nor the 3M is perfect. And uh, I feel like I paid a premium for that. So that's that's kind of why I'm down, I guess. Not down, but just it's bothering me, I guess. But I'm sure I'll be happy once it's on the car and, you know, running and driving. But uh, there it is. It's It looks good, at least. It's beautiful and... It, mo it mostly should be protected. Um, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let that set the badge. And then I'm going to uh, take the touch-up paint that came with the bumper and touch up that corner and just seal it. And hopefully she's good to go from there. And then get this thing on the road. It's been too long. I still got to adjust the coilovers. So I'm going to raise it in the back. Probably 0.75 of an inch. And then we should be good to go. But the bumper's gnarly. I'm super stoked. Just wish that the the job was better on both fronts. You know, like I said, you pay the money. You pay to get top-notch service and product. And it just doesn't come through like you expect, I guess. That's that's my problem. Um, but yeah, that's I'm going to end the video here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, I didn't want to show you guys tightening nuts and bolts <laughs> for the lip, but that's, uh, I wanted to show you the finished product and there's the finished product and the color in my opinion is the best part. So here's to uh, putting it on the car next. All right, peace guys.